the regalia is a regalia of, of many that you could make for the powwows down there. So there's many different dancers, like your cultural dancers, your jingle dress dancers, your fancy dancers is a little bit more elaborate than your traditional dancers. They say like when we have the powwow, you dance and you pray. So it's a part of our culture, our tradition. Yeah. A lot of times when people come in and they want to dance or they're going to do like a ceremony with it, they want to implement like their family history or maybe a loved one that's passed on. Hey, oh, hey, oh, the design comes from the individual person that, that wants them. So this one here I just made for myself for the missing and murdered indigenous women. But there's also little kids that come in, they want to have a butterfly. I just recently done one for, like as a unicorn <laughs> for a toddler. And then you sit down, you talk with them and you ask them like what their favorite color is, what their favorite animal is, and then you start to implement it into your piece of art, which it is, in the end, it's their artwork, yeah. When the powers first started coming here, so that was about 27 years ago, and a lot of the regalias were very, you know, just plain, straightforward, there wasn't, and it was new to everybody then too. So we had a lot of dancers come from um, different parts of the province to come down and dance. And I just noticed that there was hardly anyone there dancing from our own community. So I ended up asking my boss, I was like, you know, can we do something about this? Like we need to get these fancy regalias and get our dancers out there. And she was so encouraging. She's like, sure, let's, let's do it. I only had one order. <laughs> So it didn't take off very well. Not at first, in the second year I may have had two or three orders. But by the, um, the third year, I was like booked a year in advance. And I did go down on the power ground and it was really nice to stop and look and see all the little ones there dancing in the regalias and they were having such a good time. And then you see like the moms of the, the kids that are dancing and you they got regalias on that you made for them by the third year. When we went down there, our dancers were just lining and it just went on forever. And it was a moment, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it was like a, oh my God, I think I had a, I, I think I had a little cry there, yeah, for sure. It was a beautiful sight to see. At the end, I'm just trying to take their vision and put it on fabric. And it sometimes is really hard because some, like, they don't have the words to say or, express what they want on it so it's up to you to really pick that apart and try to come up with this piece of artwork that represents who they are so every single one is so difficult to do i don't want to miss up on it you know this is who they are they're representing something like who they are and what they believe in in their regalia and when you open up the shawl and you you wait for their reaction like i said you're just waiting like is this what they had pictured so far for the last 17 years i've managed to do okay but uh, i don't know <laughs> yeah every time so far they're like oh yes okay that's exactly what I was, okay <laughs>